Hey guys, so I'm here today with this Halloween look. It's kind of a two-in-one, just a regular typical doll and then a creepy crack doll. So if you want to see how I got this look or these two looks for Halloween, then keep watching. So I'm taking the lightest foundation that I have. This is um, the L'Oreal True Match and the palest shade that it comes in. And I'm just buffing this all over my skin, running it down my neck. Um, if it was actually Halloween and um, I was wearing this, I would put it on my chest, maybe even on my hands and stuff, just to really lighten up all my skin. And I'm taking this NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil, and this is just going to act as my highlight, because the foundation is so pale, this white works as a highlight to brighten up areas. Then I'm just setting everything with um, this, I think it's Tarte Smooth Operator Powder, and that's just going everywhere. And I'm taking a kind of gray eyeshadow uh, from the Naked 2 palette, and this is going to be my contour color. I'm just going to give myself some cheekbones, uh, nothing too intense. I'm just going to kind of put this everywhere where I would put bronzer, typically. Lots and lots and lots of blush. This is just a pink blush from Sonia Kashuk. And I'm just patting a matte um, ivory color on my eyelids and using a cool toned brown for my crease and I'm making it really 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 round. I'm taking the center um, of the shadow really high towards my brows so the shadow starts in the corner, goes up towards the brow and then comes back down to the inner corner. You can kind of see it a little bit better here. I'm taking a kind of maroon shade and I am making my eyes look really round with this technique. I'm making sure to not pull it outwards to give any type of cat eye look. I want my eyes really big and round. So I'm making my eyelid space look a whole lot bigger than it is by um, kind of making the crease well above where my actual crease is. So hopefully you can see what I'm talking about and I'm making sense to you all, but just make your eyeshadow really round, make your eyes look nice and big and round and doll-like. So stay away from the cat eye look. And I'm just patting more of that shade down because I lost some of it just to keep my eyelid nice and bright. So you can kind of see what I mean by the eyeshadow goes over my crease in the middle of the eye. So now I'm just going to work on eyeliner, kind of the same type of shape. It, I'm staying close to my lash line um, on the outer and inner corners, but then the center of the lid um, the center of the lash line, I'm taking that eyeliner and making it really, really, really thick. So it's tight on the corners of the eye, the outer corner and the inner corner, and then real thick on the middle. I really hope I'm making sense, sorry, and if I'm kind of talking a little bit quiet, my baby is asleep, like always. So really, really using the eyeshadow and the eyeliner to play up the really round eye look. I'm just filling in my brows. This is an Anastasia pomade. Um, it's in the shade Auburn. I couldn't find my like dark, almost black brown color, which I would have preferred. Um, but yeah, just some really intense, very dramatic, kind of hideous brows. <laughs> but um, it's okay, it's a costume. And I'm taking this white again, and I'm kind of giving myself um, just a whole new eye shape. So this black eyeliner is going to be my new lash line, and all the white, I'm now setting it with a white eyeshadow. That is kind of just added eyeball. <laughs> if you look at it from far away, the white just adds to the whole size of your actual eye. And then I'm filling in my waterline with that same Jumbo Milk um, eyeshadow pencil from NYX. And I'm just taking some liquid liner to really darken up my new lash line. And I know you can see I did um, put some of that milk on my lashes as well. So my actual lower lashes are pretty white. Um, so yeah, just so that they're not black lashes on that white part of our new eyeball. And I stacked up a whole lot of lashes. I don't know the names of these because um, I just throw away the packaging. This is probably the third or fourth time I've worn all these. So there's two humongous pairs on my top lash line. And then one really dramatic pair going on my new lower lash line. So yeah, very, very dramatic. I feel like this totally makes the look, these huge over-the-top lashes. So if you're going to do this, one thing I definitely would not skip on is some humongous lashes. Alright, this is MAC Whirl, and I am giving myself a new, sh a new lip shape. And then this is a YSL lipstick. I'll have everything listed below. And I just went over that. Um, my lips are obviously super round and small, just kind of like a doll's. Now I'm adding some freckles. I started with a pencil liner and I did not like it, so then I went in with 
um, the same product that's on my eyebrows, that Anastasia pomade, pomade. And yeah, just giving myself some freckles, and then I am gonna go over it with the blush again to bring out those cheeks one more time, because dolls have some heavy blush. Then I felt like I needed my lips to be a little bit more pink, so I'm just adding this fuchsia color again from YSL. And that is the finished doll look. You can see it's just kind of a cutesy doll. Um, still a little bit creepy looking because I feel like any human who wants to be a doll is a little bit creepy. But um, yeah, this is this finished look. And now I'm going to take it into the next phase, which is a very creepy, cracked, dead, like haunted looking doll. So I'm taking that gray shadow again, really, really carving out my cheekbones. I just want my cheeks to look a little bit more sunken in and kind of, um, I don't know, just dead looking. You can um, kind of turn up the contour and really round out your cheek instead of kind of pulling it down like I did. But I feel like that kind of looks a little bit more like a ventriloquist doll, dummy type of doll. So that's why I did not really round out the apple of my cheek with the contour. Um, I'm just placing this everywhere else that I want to um, add dimension to and it's kind of a gray color so it looks a little bit sickly as well which I'm cool with and blending it out even more I'm really kind of going overboard with this gray color I'm contouring my nose a little bit with it just to slim down my nose but you don't need to do that all right, so next I'm gonna grab just um, another Anastasia pomade. Um, this is in a the color Ebony. You can use a black eyeliner. I just, all my black eyeliners were too dry for this. And you can see I started out with an angled brush. I did not like how it was applying. It was a little too thick. So then I grabbed this really thin um, eyeshadow, no, eyeliner brush from Sigma. So then I'm just starting to draw the cracks. You can look at a reference picture if you want. Um, the only tip I have really is that where the, where the crack splits and starts going in two different directions, um, just make sure you really thicken that area up and um, kind of darken up that area just so that it looks a little bit more real. Um, so yeah, just wherever they split, just add a little bit more color into the very, um, exact point where the crack splits. I hope I'm making sense. You can just kind of see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm also adding some bigger holes in the cheek, like right there. That's just kind of a, a bigger area where maybe the doll, the porcelain or whatever has broken completely off. Um, so yeah, you can just look at pictures of creepy dolls and kind of go with it. And um, yeah, so now I'm going to take this black eyeliner and just place it in some areas just where I want to add some more depth to the cracks or the holes in my face and then some white to highlight so just kind of like you do with your face you kind of contour with deeper colors and you highlight with these white colors so I'm doing the same type of thing with all my little cracks on my face and some eyeshadows to blend out those white highlights I used a white eyeliner and it was a little bit harsh for me so I'm just kind of blending it out with a really light gray eyeshadow and I think that is it with the cracks. So now I'm just going to deepen up everything else that I had already put down. Um, just some black added to that eyeshadow look and some black and some gray smoking out this new lower lash line. Um, yeah, I just want to go take everything a little bit uh, more intense and darker, obviously, because she's a creepy dark doll. So you can go as dramatic as you want with it or kind of keep it a cute looking doll with just cracks or you can do cracks all over the face or just one or two here and there. It's all up to you. This is just kind of how I ended up with. I obviously added some black eyeliner to my lips just to darken up that pink that I already had but you can just go straight in with a purple or a black or any type of lip color. So excuse me while I pose super creepily. And yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a happy and safe Halloween. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.